today we're going to look at the properties of substances made of small molecules. Okay, and we've got a list of those that are outlined here. And remember, when we're talking about small molecules, we're talking about uh, substances or molecules that are joined by covalent bonds. The word molecule automatically means the atoms are joined by covalent bonds. So here are the ones that we need to know for this specification. And we've gone through the structures of these in the last video, but you need to know all of these and also the names. So this is hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen, nitrogen. This is hydrogen chloride. This is water. This is ammonia. And this is methane. So most of those I would guess you know already. And the other thing we have to remember is that at room temperature, hydrogen is a gas. So is chlorine and oxygen and nitrogen. Hydrogen chloride is also water is a liquid at room temperature. Ammonia is a gas and methane is a gas. And what we have to be able to do is to give a reason why all of these are either gas or liquid at room temperature. And by room temperature, we mean approximately 21 degrees or so, something like that. We need to be able to explain why these are liquid or gas at room temperature. Now, to help us understand, let's have a look at the example of oxygen. Oxygen is a gas at room temperature, but if we make it very cold, it can be solid and actually it melts at about minus 218 degrees centigrade. Now, if we warm it up from minus or raise this temperature above minus 218, it will melt. And that means the molecules will move apart. So the molecules move apart when it melts, when its temperature rises above minus 218 degrees centigrade. Now, if we raise this temperature even further, it will change into a gas. Oxygen boils at around about minus 183 degrees. Remember, minus 183 is a warmer temperature than minus 218. So that's when oxygen boils. Now, why is that? Well, firstly, we need to look at certain features here. These dotted lines I'm drawing in between the molecules, these are called intermolecular forces of attraction. Intermolecular forces of attraction. And if you look at the two atoms, between the two atoms, we have covalent bonds. And we've looked at how these covalent bonds happen in our previous video. But between the atoms, we have covalent bonds. And the covalent bonds between the atoms, they are strong. The intermolecular forces of attraction, very important to remember, are between the molecules, not between the atoms. So the intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules, these are weak in comparison to our covalent bonds between the atoms, which we know are strong. These are strong. So in order to melt our oxygen and boil our oxygen, we only need to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules, and this explains why. So we can write that out in a sentence. Here we go. Only a small amount of energy is needed to overcome the weak forces of attraction between the molecules of our substances made of small molecules. And remember, it's not the covalent bonds that we are trying to break apart. It's the weak forces of attraction between the molecules. And this explains why substances made of small molecules have low boiling points and low melting points. Now, there's one more detail we need to know about as well. If we take a series of covalent compounds that increase in size, so here we've got methane, ethane, propane, butane, and pentane. Here are the structural formulas of those, of each of those. So as you can see, the molecules get bigger as we go down. And also remember, the atoms in the molecules are held together by covalent bonds. The boiling point increases as the molecule size increases. And this is because the intermolecular forces of attraction between larger molecules is bigger. So intermolecular forces of attraction increases as you have larger molecules and therefore more energy is needed to overcome those forces and therefore the boiling point increases as we go up. And here we can see this in a slightly simpler method. This is a graph. We've got methane, ethane, propane, butane and pentane along the bottom there. Sorry if that's a little bit hard to see, but that's what we've got written down there. And as you can see, the bar graph shows that the methane, the smaller molecules, have a low boiling point. That's supposed to say BP for boiling point. And at the other end, the pentane has a higher boiling point because the molecules are bigger and for the reasons we've explained above. One last property that we need to know about 
substances made of small molecules and that is that they do not conduct electricity. The substances do not conduct electricity if they are made of small molecules and the reason for that is because the molecules do not carry a charge. The molecules do not carry a charge and therefore they cannot conduct electricity. Okay, so that's the final property that we need to remember for our substances made of small molecules. The other is obviously outlined in the video, so you must know those, so make sure you go over it again if you need to. But other than that, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.